I'm H. Marsh. On behalf of Rittenhouse Needlepoint, today we are going to be restoring a needlepoint canvas. You want to start by getting all of your materials together. Obviously, a new piece of canvas, some needles, some pokey things. I'll put a full list in the description. This customer burned a hole in their needlepoint, left the lamp a little too close, happens to the best of us. We're going to get that fixed right up though. So you want to start by just lint rolling the area. You'd be surprised by how much will come up without even having to get too involved with any sharp pokey things. I've got a piece of white paper underneath the burn hole since my workspace is black and I want to be able to see just the burned area and not cut too far. So just cutting nice and slow. Take your time. There's no rush. Go ahead and cut out the entire burned area. You want to lint roll every once in a while because you don't want any of that charred material to potentially stain or discolor the stitching around it. And you want to look at the back of the canvas as much as the front. With work like this, especially when it's tedious, it's always good to take a step back, take a deep breath, don't forget to drink lots of water. I'm not kidding, it makes a huge difference. So, um, it's worth mentioning that uh, I don't recommend this method for every canvas. Um, this customer is stitching on a scroll rod and intends to frame the piece, so once it's done it won't see a lot of wear and tear, and it won't require a lot of blocking when she's done stitching it, because it's already going to be nice and straight from working on a frame. And in case you were wondering, yes, it feels absolutely terrible to cut into someone's needle point and remove their stitching. There is nothing, nothing that feels quite as bad. But, you know, sometimes it's got to get worse before it can get better. And you can see we're almost, almost, the, the burn's completely gone now. I do have to peel the stitches back a little bit further um, so that I can apply the patch and restitch those two layers together. Nice and slow. Ta-da! Lint roll the whole area. The little burn pieces go everywhere. Look at that. And yes, I am using a laying tool. It works for laying those stitches down and pulling them up. So I didn't show applying the patch. That will be a separate video. It's kind of hard to film. Now we're going to go ahead and repaint. There's some smoke damage slightly above the burn that I wanted to retouch so that our customer knows what color to fill that area in. It hadn't been stitched yet. And then I'm going to paint the patch. Nice and slow, small brush. Um, you don't have to be an expert at this. We can poke those paint holes out with the laying tool. And this is just simple 99 cent acrylic paint. You can get it at any art store. And I'm just going to cover that while the paint dries. Before I start stitching, I want that paint to be completely dry. And now the fun part, we get to restitch. The customer supplied the threads that she was using, which is great because I'm able to restitch the area in a matching dye lot, which is, you obviously don't have to, but it's always nice when we can get continuity. And now it's done. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more videos.